love letter again. Oh hi guys, I'm Tao Ki. And remember this letter which I read last time? Today, as you can see, on my hands are a bunch of envelopes. It means today I'll also tell you, I'll also read for you a letter. And its name is Changed. Uh, another love letter. Ready? Let's go. No affection anymore. Dear Abby, My husband of 39 years no longer hugs me or shows me any affection. I have seen him through cancer and diabetes. We have four grown children and we have been seeing a therapist for a year and a half. He's kind, generous, and friendly. But there are no compliments or any of the flirtatious banter we used to enjoy. He swears he's not having an affair, and he doesn't know why he has changed. Perhaps you do? Grace in Phoenix. Okay guys, as usual, it's time for building your vocabulary. Let's go with the first one, no longer, no longer. It means not anymore, right? So in this case, she says, my husband no longer hugs me. It means in the past, her husband used to hug her, but these days he doesn't do it anymore, right? Understand it? Okay, good. Let's move to the next one. Hug. Okay, easy, right? So, hug. Like this. This is a way to show your love to someone, right? Or remember when we walk on the street, especially on the walking street around Hoang Kim Lake, we have someone with the sign of free hugs. And you come there and you will get the hugs for free. Okay, good job. All right, next word is affection. Repeat after me, guys. Affection. It means um, your, your feelings, right? Your love, your feelings for somebody. In this case, she says, um, my husband no longer shows me affection. It means my husband no longer shows me his love his feelings anymore right understand it good job all right next one will be a phrasal verb it is see somebody through it means to stay and to help someone especially through their very tough time very difficult time their through their difficulties so in this case she says I have seen him through cancer and diabetes. So it means she stayed with him. When, when this guy, when he, her husband had cancer and diabetes. Get it? Okay. Next word will be cancer. It is a very serious disease that is caused when cells in the body grow in a way that is uncontrolled and not normal, killing normal cells and often causing death. Remember? So one more time, cancer. Next word will be diabetes. Repeat after me guys, diabetes. This is a disease in which your body cannot control the level of sugar in the blood. That's right. One more time. Pronunciation is very important. So repeat after me. Diabetes. Next word will be a job. It is therapist. Remember your tongue. Fe okay, again, therapist. That's right. It means someone whose job is to treat a particular type of mental or physical illness or disability, usually with a particular type of therapy. That's right. One more time, guys. Therapist. 
This word is compliment. One more time, guys. Compliment. It is it is an expression, a polite expression of your admiration or your respect to someone, right? So, for example, this is a very common way to give compliment. You say, "Good job," or "Well done," or "You're amazing." Yep, they are some common and you know very easy to use compliments. Next one is a very very useful one. You say, "Flirtatious banter." One more time, guys. Flirtatious. Faster. Flirtatious, right? Flirtatious banter. It means um, a uh, casual or not really serious conversation, which you use to flirt someone. Okay. Last one, having an affair. If somebody is having an affair, it means he or she. Is having a romantic or a sexual relationship with someone else out of her or his marriage. For example, in this letter, the woman wrote that、um, her husband says he's not having an affair. It means he says he's not sleeping or he's not having a sexual or romantic relationship with any other woman. You got it. Okay, very good job. All right, it's time to practice some mini stories. As usual, I will ask you questions, and you will need to answer me as quickly and powerfully as possible. Are you ready? Let's go with the first one. How long have they been married? Have they been married for thirty-nine years? Have they been married for forty years? Have they been dating for thirty-nine years? Good job. Does her husband、um, usually hug her? Does her husband usually kiss her? Does her husband usually show her his affection? Did her husband have cancer? Did he have diabetes? Which disease did he have? All right. How many children have they had? Have they had four children? Have they had five children? Have they had one kid? Have they had no kid? Have they been seeing a therapist? Have they been seeing a Dentist? Have they been seeing a van? Who have they been seeing? How long have they been seeing a therapist? Have they been seeing a therapist for one year and a half? Have they been seeing a therapist for one point five year? Have they been seeing a therapist for two years? Have they been seeing a dentist? For one year and a half. Who have they been seeing for one year and a half? Is her husband friendly? Is he generous? Is he kind? Is he mean? Is he hardworking? Is he、um, humorous? Are there any compliments they enjoy? Are there any flirtatious banter they enjoy? Is her husband having an affair? What a complicating situation, right?、Mm, I think I will need a great deal of time to figure out solutions for this woman. So I gotta go now. Till the next lesson. Remember to have fun with English, okay? I gotta go. Bye bye. <gasps>